the work is not yet done, saints of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Holy Spirit is still with us because the work of the Lord is not yet done. Amen. Let me take this time uh, to thank my pastors uh, for such a serious vote of confidence. Nangalembego Gazingaga, Yoguti and Chilele, Chilele, Inga Gazaga Jehovah that will speak on this day. Your mama. Uh, for such an honor and for such a privilege. May God bless you as you take your seats. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we appreciate our praise and worship team? They've done a great job. Thank you so much. And also, let me formally salute all the ladies, young and old. I respect Kakulum Dong Mama. Hallelujah. You know, at times when we are growing up, we don't really appreciate them until you become one yourself. And you see the selflessness, you see the sacrifice, hallelujah, the hard work of being a woman, amen. We celebrate you this day, and I know that God celebrates you, amen. I have been asked to talk about why evangelizing, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't get flat on me now. I need your encouragement. Amen. Why should we evangelize? Why should we continue to have burden for souls? Hallelujah. I read, uh, I sang the song because it really reminded me that indeed, it's a no more to continue the work of the Lord. Amen. Not to relax. Hallelujah. We still have a long way ahead of us. We are far from being done. Amen. But unfortunately, the Church of Christ, we have become so preoccupied with the things of this world. Hallelujah. You know, it's good to, to, to have a balanced life. It's good to have all these things. Amen. Everything that is in the kingdom of God, it is meant for us. But may we never forget the primary reason Jesus left us on this earth. Hallelujah. Let us not forget our main purpose, uh, sense of God. Amen. There is an afterlife. I just want to remind Abbas Anukuti, there is an afterlife. Glory to Jesus. And it is either spent in hell or in heaven. There is no in between. At times, the way we handle things is as if we are somewhere. It's either people are going on hell or are going to heaven. Amen. And we are the ones that are to make it a point of good. We pull as many with us to go and meet their maker. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, as I, as I was saying, at times we got caught up with the things of life. Our main focus is on things, on what the Lord has blessed us with. The other city is to nail us to nail and I mean, fish. Come back to a bang and cool and fish. And do we really ever consider where is this person going? Long to honor fish on Agas on Baba Zayo. Where is their soul going to? Hallelujah. So may the Lord help us and bring that remembrance. Hallelujah. Our pastor normally says that the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. What is that main thing? Can you all please go to the book of Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. Is there anybody that can read for us? Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Are we there? Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Yes, ma'am. of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, 
I am with you always to the end of the age. Please pray for the word. Father, we give you thanks for your word this morning. We pray that you open our minds and open our hearts that we may receive and hear that which you're saying to us. That your word may be life and changes as you have said it is life. We give you thanks and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are his last words before he departed and was taken up Lilifu. Amen. Let us go out and make disciples of the people of God. Amen. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded and show I'm with you always to the very end of age. I don't want to get to what Lendon Funungan and Kuyo, but you know, it's so amazing that in these last days, if you are teaching people what God has said in His Word, and let us make disciples of people. Amen. And teaching them to obey everything. Amen. 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 This one we know it by head, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that who, who, whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. God so loved not the church but the world. Hallelujah. So that whoever believes in him shall not per perish but have eternal life. Romans 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates, demonstrates his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. At times, for such a long time, we even forget that there was a time when we were sinners. Hallelujah. Christ died for us while we were once sinners. Amen. And to take business, you will fail a vocale only for Rikawa Bazalwan. Are you, are you hearing my point here? At times, because we've been in church for so long, we think God is all about us. In this yoga, that are perishing out there. Hallelujah. Utiko, usa concerned. Gabandu, abang, kokuye. Amen. Gaga chiki, usa fell of Gelizon. So, God's main agenda is about sinners that are lost. Ukuti zize kuye before people babe and buy a pupa, em shabin. That is God. Uh, God's main agenda. And God has entrusted us with this thing. Hallelujah. If we don't share, if we don't tell them, who will? I mean, if you look at your life, at what the Lord has done in your life, singa we have forgotten, we have enjoyed, and we have forgotten the help and the hand of the Lord Hallelujah. So please let us be faithful to our God and do this thing and do it well. For we are co-workers with the Lord. We have got to open up our mouths and compel people to come. Hallelujah. God prioritizes his people. We must prioritize them as well. Utiko, we have prioritized um to work, Uta she, Aganelli ninety nine a pagat. What if there is one sheep and a pan, we shall ninety nine, Alan de Lele Louis one? How much more gang? It's not even ninety nine that is in, I think it's one person that is in. Unobutum in Tizoga Tico in down in a foolish and Jan, which so many people are lost. And yet, we as the church, we are so comfortable with the Motumian one. And then I can be administrator, a funeral ruler, I know I'm going to heaven. What about the rest? What about your family? What about your mom? What about your sisters that are going to hell if you don't compel them to come? Hallelujah, saints of God. So may the Lord help us to go back to our commanded and bring people back to the Lord. If we know this truth, because these verses are the verses that you know, if we know this truth so well and we have been pushed we have been told, we have been commanded, let us go and make disciples. What is it then? 
Why are we not evangelizing? I want us to, to look at that today. Amen. If we know all this truth, but why are we not doing it? As I've said initially, number one is that we are preoccupied with the things of this world. Of course, they are meant for us. We are supposed to have them and enjoy them. But Mazinga Tati focus yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints of God. So may the Lord help us. You know, at times we even make our relationship with the Lord only about things. The only thing we just connect with the Lord just for things. Even in our prayers, we really pray for Abanda Balashegileyo. We just pray for things. Don't go see more. Don't go see this and that and that. Amen. Where is our heart this morning? May the Lord help us. Glory to Jesus. And this thing, this attitude that we have had of things and things, it has made us to compete with the world. You know, okay, and we are busy competing with them to a point that we have lost our compassion for the lost soul. Hallelujah. So may the Lord help us to, to, to lose that attitude. Amen. And regain our compassion for these people of God that are lost. Amen. Because if we don't do anything about it, they are going to hell. Hallelujah. Number two reason that makes us to not evangelize as we are supposed to, it is intimidation. We get intimidated by the people of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, I, I have been working at church for a very long time. Um, unlike you, I have had a very little everyday interaction with the people of the world. Amen. I know some of you, you stay with them eight hours. Pilanab. Amen. But fortunately or unfortunately for me, the 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 But you know what? Two years back, when we had an episode of Undando getting sick, I found it myself having to spend not just eight hours, but 24 hours in hospital for days. I will be there with people that are not born again. (laughs) Hallelujah. In a small ward, and I will be living with them (laughs) day in and day out. And... I thank God for, 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 for uh, as a low opportunity to me because it was a serious culture shock. You know, that on my You know, we think we know how people lived. I, I'm telling you, I was seriously shocked. Amen. The people are so hard in their hearts. People are so hard in their hearts. People are so proud. You know, they are unapologetic about their lifestyles. It's unlike the high life of Masbangaba. No, they don't care anymore. They are so proud. And what do you have to say about that? You know? Um, and people are so devoted to their things. And these are the very people that the Lord is sending us to. And these people are so defiant against the, 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 the Christian community. You know? Bazalwana, Abantu out there are bold. Bold in, in their disobedience against God's principles. They are so bold. And they resist you openly. But they are not even polite about it. They just resist you and your God and your... Welcoming, you know. But that must not discourage us from going to them. Hallelujah. They still need the Lord. In spite of how deep they are in sin, they still need the Lord. And you are the only hope for them. You know, some of them in their hearts, they are not as strong as they portray to be. Are you hearing me, saints of God? city, I'm I'm Even to those ones that they seem so hard and seem so devoted in their things. Believe you me, they are so ready for the gospel. If you would just dare enough and, 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 and minister Christ to them. Hallelujah. 
So let's get rid of any type of intimidation. Hallelujah. Listen to Romans 1 verse 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. Hallelujah. Let us not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Let us not be ashamed. It is the power. It is God's power for the salvation of everyone who believes. That takes me to my third point. Why are we not evangelizing? We underestimate the power of the gospel. We seriously underestimate, and I think we forget, why do you think that somebody else can't accept Christ today? Why do you think they are so deep? Where were you taken from? Hallelujah. Let us not underestimate. I know the gospel is very simple, but it is powerful. It can break the toughest stones. Hallelujah. It can break the toughest stones. You know, I have a testimony of a very beautiful work that the Lord is doing on the new branch. In the area where we are, the area Sukuyo, there is a serious stronghold of homosexuality. You know, I'm telling you, some of our girls, when they came in, we were so confused. We didn't know. You know? And they were so hard. You are just shocked that they even came to church. But they came in numbers. Hallelujah. And, and they, 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 they were so hard, man. You know? Girls that are You know, think that but that's the type of people that we are ministering to there. Amen. But I'm trying to show you about the power of the gospel, what God can do. We did not confront them with their lifestyle. We just continued to hit them with the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. We spoke the word of God uncompromisingly. Hallelujah. And the word of God is enough to confront anyone, any sinner. You can't You are not God. Just speak the word and see what the word will do in their lives. The word of God is enough to change any individual. Hallelujah. We continue to, 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 to preach to these people. Men, if you could see the genuine work, are you hearing me, saints of God? I'm telling you, Holy Spirit is breaking them softly. You know, the beautiful work that the Lord is doing there. They are getting delivered from smoking and everything. They are the ones that come, as a testify in front, crying tears. You know, what has entered in is doing a work. So I want to remind you, the gospel is the power. It is the power. Don't underestimate it. But sing as a matrix, no, 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 no. Susa mubai psychologist on people of you are not a psychologist. Just preach the word of God and let God be at work. Glory to Jesus. You know, the Lord is helping them. Some of them you'll just hear from the tone. Somebody softening up. They are so tender towards God. You know, it is just about are so ready. Uh, and they are opening up by themselves. Let's see, Shukuti, how hurt. You know, the, 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 the world that we are supposed to preach in sense, it's not just lost, it's hurting. People are hurt out there. Because, I'm 
telling you, we impend to listen to Zonga Zobombabo. Amen. So I bless the Lord for the beautiful work that He is doing um, in the lives of those children. And once again, there are people, Bazalwane, that will never make it in life unless they meet the Lord Jesus. Are you hearing me? I'm one of those. With my background and with everything that took place as I was growing up, man, it is clear, there was just no chance in me in life. But I bless the Lord for those school kids that were brave enough to preach in my high school and preach Christ. Hallelujah. There are people out there, Abalindele wena, Abatinga wena, hallelujah, to just open up your mouth and say, you just have to say, Lendo enzege kuwe. Yes, it ends up complicated. There is nothing as powerful as your personal testimony. Just what the work of the Lord that he has done in your life is more than enough. Glory to Jesus. Number four, one of the things that cause us not to evangelize is that, listen, says of God, we are not called to disqualify people. Whoa, uh -uh, you are not God. We are not called to disqualify, you, you are not called to write people off. You are called to minister Christ. Hallelujah. So, ours is to compel them. Let's compel them to come. Let's compel them to come. Let's compel. When was the last? When was the last that you shared about your faith to anyone? Let's compel them to come. Hallelujah. This thing is not only meant for pastors. It's for everybody. For everybody. I am here today preaching to you, but it was school kids. And I even went, no, I still remember, I even went to that SCM to ridicule them. We will go there to, to just laugh. Hallelujah. So let us continue to do what we are supposed to do. Point number five. It is either we disqualify people or we disqualify people. I'm going to explain myself. Hallelujah. You know, we get, we see people, they get to be so good in our eyes. Uko mahayman, kumto tanda zayolo, kumto lungileyolo. Uko I don't see a need to preach salvation to this person. Listen, listen. In John 3, Jesus Christ himself says, no one can enter king, the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Hallelujah. Your mother, that is so good, that is, or sacrifice a young kinto, or not a band, ubananga bagazalwanga ngogucha. Saints of God. She is not going to heaven. Agungene ngabulunga kwako ezuluin. The primary requisite stands for everyone. We must be born again. We have got to be born again. Hallelujah. So, masi, masi, <laughs> Amen. Let us preach the word. Amen. Let us preach Christ. I'm sure if you will go to hell, there are many good people that are there. But as good as they were, only because they didn't have Christ. Hallelujah. And nothing else. I'm going to hand over as I'm finishing up. I'm going to finish just now. You know, may the Lord help us. May the Lord help the church in this day and age. Hallelujah. And we're not just called We are called to make disciples. A disciple is somebody that you follow them up and walk with them until they are firm-footed in their faith. I thank the Lord for my best friend, Udeze. You know, in those days, that lady walked with me because by the time, actually, I accepted Christ at school at 15, the first time I was 13, the two-year post office, I met these ladies, and I knew something happened in me. 
But from there, I didn't know what was the next step. And I almost lost that seed. But by the grace of God, again, I met with this Christ three years later, or two years later, at 15. So, saints of God, but we are so comfortable. But I'm undeclared, no scratch. We don't even bother and, and go to them and take care of them. Let's take care of the people of God. Let's make disciples work with somebody. Hallelujah. So let the Lord help us in that area. And, <laughs> you know, when you are rich, everybody listens to you. And this is whenever. For a lack of a better word, do you know that because of your social status, that there are people that will accept Christ without thinking twice only because of Shunya Ilwangwe? You are rich to some people. You, you are influential to some people. Hallelujah. So please make it a point. The Lord lifts us up for a reason. Not just by when you enjoy, enjoy your uncle and do now, but use your influence for the kingdom of God. Preach to someone. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if you're a teacher and there are school kids that are looking up to you, Wherever you are staying, there are people. I'm not saying we must preach only to people that are lower than us, but those ones are easy ones. Hallelujah. So let us use our influence. Amen. To those that are well off, <laughs> I know we struggle with these ones. There are those that are well off. Into Zabozong is right. right. Why should they don't need your Christ? Right, for that bed. With them, you pull out the card of eternal life. Because even if they can have it all, everything that we have achieved, you leave it here. Even with them, we are not supposed to leave them behind. Hallelujah. So let's bring the people of God. Abba Pansi, Abba Pezulu, the blood of Jesus goes to every valley, the highest and the lowest. The highest. Hallelujah, saints of God. So may the Lord and saints of God, if we don't do this, if we don't honor God and do this Monday that the Lord has given to us. They are trying to overtake us. We are busy complaining about false prophets. And people of God are following in numbers. Hallelujah. But you have been working for, with somebody for 20 years. You have never told them. Not once. Are you hearing me? Let's go back. To our core mandate. Hallelujah. Sipete imbendulo yezindozonge. What you have, the Jesus that you have, he answer yezindozonge abanda baitagegeleyo. Let's preach this Christ. I'm just here to encourage us on that thing. Hallelujah. For it reaches to 